I, Augustus James Ulysses Jasper, we swear. The 13th Governor of the British Virgin Islands took his oath of office on Tuesday, August 22. The ceremony took place a day after he was welcomed to the territory by Premier and Finance Minister Dr. D. Orlando Smith. Prior to entering the Virgin Islands Supreme Court to take his oath of office, Mr. Jaspert inspected the Guard of Honor mounted by the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force. Governor Jaspert's three-year tenure in the BVI comes at a time when the main island is picking up the pieces from the onslaught of a devastating tropical wave on August 7 and 8. Both the governor and the premier started off their speeches noting that Mr. Jaspert took to the terrains of Tortola to see some of the damage for himself upon his arrival in the BVI for the first time. I'm sure that you appreciate that the BVI is not in peak condition given the impact of recent heavy rains and flash flood. But despite any remaining debris or mud, the natural beauty of these islands cannot be denied. I can assure you there will be many sunny days ahead to enjoy in more comfortable conditions. I trust that amidst what you saw, we were able to see the resilience of this territory and the effectiveness of our efforts. So as you figuratively and literally got your feet wet, I look forward to working with you in our respective capacities to keep the territory in a high state of preparedness for the remainder of the hurricane season. It is a credit to everybody involved how quickly the islands are recovering. The fact that under the Premier's guidance, electricity and water were restored to so many so quickly is a remarkable testimony to the resilience of the residents of the Virgin Islands. I have heard and seen how hard and tirelessly the emergency services, community organisations, private companies and individuals and of course government agencies have worked and continue to work. Governor Jasper's predecessor John Duncan left a state of unease in some quarters, particularly after he invoked his constitutional powers to force the government to provide more money to the police force, attorney general and director of public prosecution's offices, as well as the Supreme and Magistrates' Courts, leaving some to wonder if his successor will simply pick up where he left off. The new governor explained what his role and that of the United Kingdom is in the territory. I see the role of governor as one of service and partnership, a service dedicated to bettering the lives of all who live in these islands and to creating a secure and prosperous future for the young and future generations. A partnership that works with the elected government, the public services, community and faith organizations, businesses, and most importantly, the people who live here. The role of the United Kingdom is also a partnership, a modern partnership that helps and supports the Virgin Islands, a partnership based on respect and that helps ensure the underpinnings of success, good governance, security, and prosperity. Noting that the British Virgin Islands are small with a global impact, Governor Jaspert spoke to the difficulty facing the territory and its financial services sector and pointed out that his role is not to direct but to engage. There have though been other challenging times recently of rapid change globally and an international spotlight on the Virgin Islands as an international financial centre. These islands have demonstrated the importance of taking pride in effective regulation and the importance of the underpinnings of good governance. You have built a strong foundation for the future of prosperous and thriving communities and I aim to work together towards an even brighter future. That future needs to be shaped by the desires of those who live here and who know their own aspirations. My role is not to direct these but to engage with all parts of the community to listen to hear the hopes, aspirations, dreams, and also the challenges and problems, and to work together to find ways to tackle these. The new governor says don't expect him to be shy. I will be engaged, but I will not shy away from acting where the values of fairness, security, and good governance are not at the highest standards. Honorable guests, 
Let me conclude by reiterating that my goal here is to serve Her Majesty for the people of the Virgin Islands. Governor Jaspert is joined by his wife, Millie, and two sons, Oscar and Tobias. Peter Gay Coombs reporting for this JTV News Update.